This is the most expensive, probably the most expensive mouthful of food I've ever had <laughs> in my entire life. And we went to Five Guys. <laughs> oh! Yes. Hello, you rotten bunch. Welcome back to Food Review Club. Those of you that are new to the page, my name's Matt. I do all the eating around here. You do all the watching. Now, we have wanted to try, we want to try something different today. I have always wanted to eat some caviar. Uh, I've had it here and there on a few different meals, but I've never actually dived into a bit. So, my wife and I did some digging around on Tinterweb, and we got... A delivery. I wanted to get some really good stuff. Went to Waitrose. They only sell the faux stuff, not the real deal. The lady said it's about £100 a tin. So that was my uh, my marker. They had a big tin in there, like that. Deep, bit like a uh, shoe polish tin. Made the order. Came. I'll show you what £100 worth of caviar actually looks like. Are you ready for this, guys? That's right. Not much bigger than a two pound coin. <laughs> <laughs> bigger. Yeah, it is, yeah. But Jess, let's be honest, it's not that huge, is it? So this is 100 pounds worth of top of the line caviar, apparently. I got this from a very, very respected website, Caviar Artisan, with a lot of reading around. I didn't want to get mugged off. This is 100 pounds worth of caviar, so Let's have some. So we've done a bit of research, done a bit of reading, uh, and they apparently the, the best way to have your first one is off the back of your hand, um, a bit like you're doing a bump at a festival or something, but not the same, because it's caviar. And you're supposed to have some champagne afterwards, but I'm, I'm not drinking for a month. I'm gonna try and, uh, yeah, whatever. Let's get off the bottle for a month. <laughs> so we're gonna have some sparkling elderflower press from the co-op. Shout out to you, co-op. I'm not sure this is gonna, looks kind of champers like. Mm, not really. No? No. No. Here we go. Fill up it up as it was champers though, yeah? <laughs> so, in my extensive food blogger research, sorry, I'll just get you on the table. You're not supposed to have a metal spoon. It ox oxidizes, big no-no. So luckily for me, we didn't have a pearl spoon anywhere. I did have some spoons left over from Fabio's uh, gelato. Plastic <laughs> spoon. Yeah, that's good. Right, let's try and get into this. I don't know how. Is it a spinny one? <sighs> Genuinely can't get into this. Can't get into it. I need a knife or something. I'm just like, just looking at it and rolling around in my hands isn't going to open it. I actually need some action here. How long until it gets awkward? <laughs> it's, it's there. Is, we, we were awkward. Okay, pause. Come back and we'll find out how to open this. I found a tool to do it. There we have it, guys. So, those of you that have had caviar before, please get in the comments. And let me know what you think of caviar. Only caviar comes from a sturgeon. All other fish eggs are called roe. Now, from what I've been, what I've been told, they are buttery, salty. And delicious, hence in the apparently it's a really nice compliment with your champagne or sugary, fizzy, bubbly drink. Now you can have them as Bellinis, not Bellini. <laughs> Bellinis. Bellinis, <laughs> or on, even on toast. Um, there's a lot of different ways you can have them, but I'm gonna, oh wow, go on and get this. How much are you gonna have? I don't know. Guy said put a load on the back of your hand. That is a rather a lot. Well, we don't fuck around just, do we? <laughs> So that is, I reckon that's about 10 quid's worth of caviar right there. At least. <laughs> this is the most expensive, probably the most expensive mouthful of food I've ever had <laughs> in my entire life. And we went to Five Guys. <laughs> oh! Yes. 
And we went to Five Guys. All right, cool. Is that a lot? You better like it. <laughs> 100 quid this was. I don't know if I've told you that yet, guys. <laughs> Here we go. Ready? It's all right. <laughs> That's okay. Beautifully creamy. Very salty. Let's see if this makes enhances the flavour. That was a big portion though, wasn't it? Yeah. Really buttery, creamy, salt. And I actually feel like I need to do a give you a proper review. Incredible. So these came from a sturgeon that were that was 10 to 12 years old. Mm -hmm. So like kind of mid-range. Like you can get them, I think that please don't slate me for this, guys, but I think you get sturgeons that are 16, 20 years old, and these go for about 250 a pot, 250 pe 50 pounds a pot. This is kind of mid-range at 100 pounds for this pot. Um, we didn't really want to splash any more out when I'm pretty much bumping myself up on my hand. Um, but yeah, that was actually really weird. An immediate thing in my head, a bit like smoked salmon, that sort of kind of flavour to it, that, that creamy saltiness with a bit of buttery. Yeah, decent. Uh, never had that before like like that. So that was an experience. Guys, if you've had caviar before, tell me how you like to, like, if you tell me how you've had it, if you liked it or not, whether you rate it or hate it, let me know. Guys, that was really interesting. First time I've ever had caviar like that. And do you know what? I kind of enjoyed it. What's happened to me? Lobster, caviar, T-bones. <laughs> what else have we had? <laughs> Microwave meals. <laughs> Thanks guys. Shout out to Caviar Artisan as well for giving us a spotless delivery. Turned up, perfectly sealed in a bag, beautiful box, fragile box. The day after, two days after. Yeah, you could just pick the day you wanted. Yeah, pick the day you wanted it. Seamless uh, service from these guys. 10 out of 10 from them. Um, I suppose I'll we give Caviar a little score. 7 out of 10, like it, decent. Yeah. Really, flavour, little flavour bombs. Okay. There you go. Guys, cheers. That was a caviar review.